kid's ready to get real personal with hammer and musket in hand. One thing's worse than the heat in Colford Cauldron. The smell. Like rotten eggs. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rot. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. given scent of sulfur's dirt.
kept on sifting through the cauldron's secrets anyway. thinking he's got a trek all the way back around the cauldron. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Stink eyes ever seen to wait for him on the other side. Well, it ain't polite to stare. And where there's one stink eye, there's always one. Tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fun farewell. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. died out. There's nothing left of it. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now.
The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. The triggers. My brothers. Bravest men I ever knew. It wasn't fixed. It was unbroken. They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Get cold round here with that thing around. 